Hi guys, this is here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Russia. I want to introduce you my new kitchen. How cool is that? Do you remember how it was here before? It's crazy, right? So in today's video, we're going to cook Russian blini because what is happening? Russian maslinitsa is happening this week. And what is Russian maslinitsa? It's a weird name, right? So the maslinitsa is an ancient traditional holiday in Russia that Eastern Slavic people celebrated centuries ago, like even before Christianity. So it means that winter is leaving and spring is coming and people wanted to celebrate this magic moment. They need to throw a tiny party to celebrate that freaking cold winter is finally going away. And blini, actually the round shape of blini, symbolize a sun. So if you eat as much blini as possible, then more sun will come and shine. <laughs> this is what going to bring more sunshine into your life. The main ingredient in here is, of course, flour. It's called makfa. So this brand with yellow package, it didn't change maybe since I was born, guys. Yes, so trust this one. Two big, nice eggs, or you can take three small eggs to mix it all together we need some milk of course this is Kusvil package of milk you can not only use milk for russian blini you can uh, mix it with water in milk or even make it with kefir but in my opinion with milk it's the most delicious recipe this is russian oil it's called Belago, Russian sugar. Actually, it's, it's called Ruski Sakhar, like literally Russian sugar with, uh, you can read here, it's official keeper of uh, Far East Leopard. Our blini should be a little bit sweet. This is very simple salt, we just need a tiny bit maybe half a teaspoon you need to put a tiny bit of butter when your pancake is ready so you don't need to add it to the dough i hope you're hungry because i am i found such a proper angle to show you all of these guys i'm so proud of this kitchen to be honest now it's so 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 much better so let's get started Started it finally. So the recipe is pretty much simple. We need just uh, 200 grams of flour. It's like approximately a cup, right? I think this will do. I have very bright memories from the 90s, from my childhood, when my babushka baked this size pile of blini and it was so so amazing usually i help her to mix ingredients so she didn't use any internet and she remembered the recipe so i follow her rules just mix everything how you feel because you're a true russian girl <laughs> The recipe should be in your DNA, you know, from the babushka to mama to yourself. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> Make a little hole like this. Let's crack some egg. Ooh, I bought new knives. So, ooh, they are white and shiny. I don't want to cut my finger. <laughs> Oh, yes. So what we do is let's add one tablespoon of sugar. This salt is very salty salt. So I'm going to use just a tiny bit like this. Maybe a half of teaspoon. Next 
in the program two table spoons of oil. Oh shit, no! I'm not sure actually what sequence of ingredients you should add, whatever. The main thing is uh, don't forget to put any ingredient. <laughs> So, it's looking like this, pretty nice, so I'm going to open fresh milk. Is it fresh? In the recipe it says that we need only half a liter of milk, but actually you need to fill your soul and you need to listen to yourself. So, whatever you feel right, like the right consistency for your blini, the amount of milk you need to add there. It's very simple. So let's try to add half of the pack first. I was trying to make it right, but I think I made a mistake because my dough has a lot of chunks. It's not a big mistake, I just uh, need to mix it um, more longer. It's good if you have a professional blender, like a mixer thing, but I don't have. Consistency is a key. It shouldn't be too watery and it shouldn't be thick in my opinion it's a little bit sick sick thick so <laughs> we need to add a little bit more milk over here and mix it again <laughs> if your dough is not enough watery it's going to be very hard to spread it around frying pan in my opinion it is now good enough but it is not sweet enough so i want to add just a tiny little bit of more sugar in here now guys it is very important i will show you the success item so this is my new blinnaya skavorotka it's a uh, frying pan especially for making thin Russian blini. If you're going to use something like this, probably you're going to fail. And I want to actually try them both and you will see the difference. Let me show you a little life hack. So instead of pouring a lot of oil into your frying pan, we can do this we can just soak a tissue just a little bit we just need a very thin layer to not let our blini stick to our frying pan i'm doing so much better with my gas stove right now after more than a month living here i finally got used to this gas machine this is a uh, safety matches russian speech key this is finally the moment of truth because i'll try to bake my first pancake what a shame look at this it's like a little octopus we have seen in russia that uh, first uh, pancake is uh, trash like первый блин всегда комом you need to create your first blin to just fail and then things will go much better i've got myself new spatulas which are very cool oh this frying pan is so good it doesn't stick at all don't judge me guys this is just the first pancake this is the trial version it's very important to try your first uh, blin because you can change the rest of your dough if you don't like it so let's try it out mm. the taste is very simple but i'm going to eat it with um, sour cream with honey with jam so this is pretty good
this is exactly what I was telling you. First bling is a trash, but the rest of them, they're just perfect. Mm. Almost all my recipes on my channel, they almost uh, go into disaster in one moment. <laughs> But in the end, actually, I have a really great result, always. This frying pan is just excellent. I'm very impressed. How do you say it in English? Splendid! This literally looks like a sun! Or maybe a moon? Let's try this one on an old frying pan. Oh no, this is very... Oh, I cannot remove it, guys. This is what I was telling you. So, the frying pan is like uh, the main uh, thing for... Oh, shit. Can you see it? I cannot even remove it. What do I do? Oh no! <laughs> I need to clean it now! Officially, it's one of the best blini I ever made thanks to my good frying pan and I hope it is delicious as well. Let's try it! How you can eat Russian blini? I want to start with strawberry jam. So when I was a child uh, we did this. We would uh, put some jam and then we would... Oh, it's a bit thick because it's cold I think. Uh, we would spread it like this all around and then we would make a tube. It is not uh, the most convenient way to eat it, but if you are a child, I think it is fun. Mm. It is pretty good. Let's try my second blin with Russian honey yeah i would get this much and i will do the same i would put it somewhere mm, your honey has to be good to immerse yourself in this russian experience you have to sip some black tea now I will show you a third way to eat blini. It's not going to be sweet, it's going to be sour. So we do this triangle shape and we just uh, put something like this and we eat it. This one I like so much as well. Sour cream has such a refreshing taste. For the bonus part of this video, Zgushone Malako, condensed milk. Rogachov made in uh, Belarus. Hello to our Belarus <laughs> neighbors. That would be wonderful to have small plates to put each filling into each plate, but I don't have the tiny plates, so we just will do this. <laughs> Because it's convenient to just dip your pancake into each sauce, but I just don't have a small small plate. So something like this is going to be very sweet as well. So this one tastes as a proper dessert, like a proper cake. My blini deserves a highest rating today. I'm impressed with myself. I would rate them 8 out of 10 and the most delicious one that I've tried I think is with a smetana with a blue kitten because I don't know it's just a mix of 
sour and the sweet taste is so delicious guys so what do you guys think about blini would you try to make it yourself or try it somewhere else or maybe you have something like this in your national cuisine please let me down below in the comments on this positive note i want to make a little announcement about one of my next videos so my slinging tail week will end on sunday and tradition is to burn giant doll which symbolizes that we are burning winter and welcoming spring it's going to be very interesting i want to make a vlog about it so um if you want to see it you can give me a big like under this video and please subscribe to wait for it and yeah guys thank you so much for staying with me until the end of this video and i will see you very soon in my next one